This is Gemari and Gittin, the Daf, Samoch, Abayim, Baruch Hashem. Another exciting day in the world of the Daf as we'll be wrapping up this fifth parak of Gittin, a bit of an intricate and complicated parak, as we pick it up from Samoch, Abayim, Amin Aleph, three lines from the top. And we began a conversation in the previous year about an Amaretz about the credibility that man is, that which we believe in Amaretz will and will not do. And now from there we segue into a similar discussion, into a discussion in how much we have to be suspectful of an Amaretz. So says the Gemara, Samach Be'ezam and Aleph, three lines from the top. Heyid Rav Yezi ben HaMeshulam, Mishum Rav Yechran Achet. Rav Yezi ben HaMeshulam testified in the name of Rav Yechran, his brother, Shavu Mishum Rav Lazim ben Chasma. Ein oisin chalas amaaret betahira. Din number one: one should not prepare the dough of an amaaret in taira. Avol, what could you yes do? Oisin isas chulav betahira. But you could do his dough, which is chulin in taira. So if this amaaret has dough, if the dough is chala. Don't, you should not deal with it with Taira. But if the Amaret has dough which is chulin, you could go and deal with it. Then you separate a piece of challah. Again, the part of the dough that nowadays we burn or we throw out. Bizman Chazal, Bizman Beis Hamikdash, of course, was given to the Kayin. And then what do you do? And you take the challah portion and you place it in a certain type of flask, a certain type of jug of chfisha or anchusa. And then, Ukshabam, Aretz Lito, and Amaretz comes to take it, Noitel Ashtehem. He'll take both of them, Vein Oichayshesh, and we do not have to worry that the Amaretz is going to come and touch the challah portion and make it tummy. So let's take for a moment before we go into the third. And the fourth case about the Amaretz, let's take a moment and let's look at Rashi at the third wide line from the top. Rashi teaches us, Ein oisin chulas Amaretz v'tayra. Am, what is the case, says Rashi. Amaretz shaba sha'amar legabel chaver hefresh chala meisasi. We have an Amaretz that wants to have a friend of hers, a chaver. A chaver, of course, always connotes one who knows halacha. So she wants her friend to help her knead her dough. And he wants her to do a bit. Do not listen to the Amaretz. Why not? Because the assumption is that the dough of an Amaretz is Tame. And therefore, so what's the problem? We're all wondering, who cares? So let this chaver, let this woman who knows halacha, let her go and let her help. What's the big deal if she goes and she does a bit tahira? So fills in Rashi the missing blanks in the second arrow line. That if someone sees this chavr, this woman, this wife of a Tamil Chacham dealing with the dough bit tahira, the hakoyin yisma chala gavol. Shu chavr. The kayin is going to rely and think this dough is really bit tahira. The isavr shachala tahira. But we know that's not true. So din number one, do not go, don't be overly, we'll call it righteous. Think, oh, I'm helping the Amaretz, I could go, and I could deal with it, but says the Gemara, no, because it could cause a terrible calamity. But what could you yes do? The beginning of the dough, before the chulin is, the challah, excuse me, is taken off, you could go and you could help the Amaretz right now. Why? Because you're going to fix the story. You're going to help the Amaretz. And then you're going to separate the requisite challah. You're going to take that piece of requisite challah and what are you going to do with it for, so that the Kayin can get it and remain in Ta'ira. You're going to put it in Bekvish Ayban Chusa. Rashi continues and teaches us these are worn out Kalim that is not normal to put two, t- dough in it. And therefore, number one and number two, it's not Mechabel Toma, it's worn out uh, clay glalim and whatnot. And therefore, we don't have to be worried that the Amrits might come to touch it. As we'll explain further. So that's din number one and din number two. Back into the Gemara for din number three. Vein oisin trumas zesa v'bitayra. And you should not prepare the truma olives of the Amaret v'bitayra. Again, for the same reason that one might actually think that 
they are tahar, and thereby the kain, as Rashi again spells out, is going to rely upon them and think they are tahar. Avo, what could you do? I said, days of chula betayra. If they're chulin, you could do that. But no, so take truma. You're going to take off the appropriate truma ois. And place it in the utensils of your own, of the chaver. We'll give them both. Says the Gemara Braisa. Four cases, A and C, B and D are parallel. So in the first and the third cases, the, um, the, the chaver, the Isha's chaver, the wife of the Tamil Chacham, should not help the Amaretz that says they have dough of challah or zesim, olives of truma. Do not help them. Because the Kayin's going to come to think, oh, I see uh, this Rebetzin, she's dealing with the stuff, but Taira must be that it's indeed Tar. But it's not actually, because it's the Amaretz, and the Amaretz doesn't deal with things with Taira. But if you're coming at the beginning of the process, if the neighbor asks for help at the very beginning of the story, then you can, yes, help, because then you can ensure that you'll help out. How are you going to ensure that? That you're going to take off either the part that is chala or the part that is truma, and you're going to put it in a separate flask, and that we believe the Amaret said he won't come to me mitamet. So says the Gemara of time, Amai. What is the reason that we allowed that you could take off these chumais or you could take off the chal and leave it in the hands of the Amaretz? Because this friend who is the wife of Tamil Chacham wasn't just being a good Samaritan. She wasn't just being a friendly neighbor. She got paid. <laughs> she got paid to need the dough. And in order to insure, ensure that she could take such a job, therefore we allowed this to happen. Says the Gemara. For both of them, the Gabal is one that needs the dough. The Badad is one that deals with the Azitim, with the Alephs. So for there, those two reasons, we allow this story to happen. Says the Gemara Utsricha. We need to list both cases. The Ashmin and Gabal. Mishandal and Nafesh Agri. I would have thought, because the one who needs the dough doesn't really get paid so much. But the olive press person gets paid a lot, gets paid more. So therefore doesn't have this leniency perhaps. It's not as common. Therefore we have the cases. And that's the din. Continuing the theme of Aretz, that's the din, says the Gemara, of what the Isha's Chavar could do to help out her friend, the Amaretz. So Amar, Mar, now the Gemara delves a bit deeper into the Braisa, or about 15 lines down. First one on line is Sericha. Amar, Mar, Noitale Menuk de Chala. So what do we say she does? She takes the, por- the portion, which is Chala. Umeniyar Bechlishoi Ben Chusa. And she puts it into these flesh- special Kalim. Mukshaba Amar, it's Lito. When Amar, it's comes. Noitale Shtem will take both. Veinu Chesh, we're not worried. Says the Gemara, the million dollar question, why are we not worried? Why don't we worry that Amaretz is going to come and touch it and therefore make it Tame? Says the Gemara, you know why we're not worried? Because we tell the Amaretz, If you touch it, it's going to revert to Teva. So what? We, we see that the Amaretzim are obviously not so scrupulous with these Dinim, so all of a sudden here they will be. So Rashi points out the reason is because to eat Tevel carries with it quite a severe penalty of Misa, of Kares. And therefore, for that, we don't really suspect Amar Atim will stoop that low. Says the Gemara further, one second, how do you know? Maybe the Amaretz won't care. Says the Gemara, of course they're going to care, because the whole story is one in which the Zama'aretz is coming to fix the story. He's asking your neighbor, who's the Tamachacham, to help her. So if in a scenario that the Amaretz is coming to clearly do what's right, we don't have to be worried that they're not going to care if it becomes Tami. Amar Mar, now we deal with the third case, or the fourth case, I should say. No, it's the in the first case is, we said they're in these interesting kalim. So there's a hacker, it's recognizable that the Amaretz will know not to touch it. 
What hacker is there in these cases? Says the Gemara, you know what it is? The manach lebe kli golem kli avanim. No, who's putting manure or a stone kalim kli adam or earthenware kalim? Says the Gemara, Yachim ayre the chaver. I feel that Amar is nami. We said the chaver puts them in her own kalim. But says the Gemara, if they're in these unique special kalim which are not makabel tama, why does it have to be specifically in the kalim of the chaver? It can even be in the kalim. Of the Amaret answers the Gemara. You're right. Tachanami it could be Kamar. B'kilim Shama Aretz Haru Uyin Lishtamish Ben Chaver says the Gemara. Indeed, it is the Kilim of the Amaret. So why did it call them the Kilim of the Chaver? Because these are Kilim which are theoretically fit for the Chaver to use. In the fact that the Klei Golim Klei Adama, which are not Mekabel Tama. We continue quoting the next part of the Mishnah, in which we said Machzikim Dei Akum Mishvias. One is allowed to strengthen the hands of the guy that work with Shemitah. Says you are machzikin, really? You're not allowed to uh, dig together with the guy in Shemitah. And you can't say Shalom twice to the guy. So it sounds like there is an issue with the guy working in the field during Shemitah. Answer is Gemara Lei Tzricha. It just means time to tell them you should be strong. Nothing more than that. It just means being cordial to the guy, being nice, giving them a bracha, but it doesn't actually mean anything more than that. It doesn't mean you're actually going and helping them, etc. Continues the Gemara of Ein Shalom and Shal Akim. You should not say Shalom twice. Like Gaya of Chista Maktev Yavle Shalma. Instead of saying it twice, Rav Chista would go early and say Shalom to the Gaya. Rav Kana Amr Le Shalma Lamar. He would say Shalom Lamar. Why? Because he would have intention that he means Lamar. He means his Rabbi, and he was just saying it to the Gaya, but his mind was elsewhere. Veshayim Veshlaimim. You let to ask the Gaya how they're doing. Ask the Gemara, ten lines on the bottom, of the white lines, first line is Achzukei. We said you give me Mechazik the Goyim. Of course, you could say Shalom to them. So, Amar Ravi Eva, Loi Nitzcha, you know what the case is, Al Yom Eidan, it's the day of the Goyisha holiday. Titani, as you learn to the rise of Oikon, it's on the base of Shalakam, Yom Eidan, Mitzel Eishalom, you should not enter in to a Goyisha house on the day of their holiday and say Shalom to them. But, but if you see them in the marketplace, you could say Shalom with a low head. And the point here is, we don't want the Goyim to be excited that the Yid is saying Shalom to them, and thereby go and think their gods, Azal Umaydi, Rashi refers to it as, are going to go and admit and think their gods, oh, the Yid didn't say hi to me, so therefore we have to be careful. Rav Huna, Rav Chesta, Aviyasvi, Chal of Azal Geneva. Say we're sitting together and Geneva passes by. Why should we get it for him? We should get up for him because he is a Dvar Arayun. He's a Talmud Chacham. Amr Lai, Umak me, Palga, Nakam, Nakam. And before someone who fights, we should get up. Adachi Asa Yuli Kabayu. So as they're trying to figure out whether they actually should stand up for him. So Geneva comes over. Amlu Shalma Lecha Malka. Amar, excuse me, Amar Lei. Geneva says, Shalom Aleichi Malka, Shalma Aleichi Malka. So Geneva says to the Rabbanon, Shalom to you, Malachim, referring to the Rabbanon as kings. Amr Lei, Menalacha, the Rabbanon, Dikim Malachim. Where did you get this that the Rabbanon are called kings? Amr Lehu, Dechsev, Bi Malachim, Yimleichu, Vigaymu. Amr Lei, Menalach, the Kafim, Shalma, Lemalka. So very good that you're saying that the Rabbanon are called kings. Where do you know that you should do it two times? So Amr Lehu, so Geneva responds, Damar Av Yud, Amr Av, Menayin, Shekov, Lenshalom, Lemelech, so come, something with us. not animal yet. Which is a little bit of an unknown halacha, but yet a halacha nonetheless. That one's animals come first. One has to realize that first you feed your animals and then you eat yourself. Hajon Allah Hani Zakin, we should do an incredible Chazara, difficult parak, definitely requires a large Chazara. And without further ado, we dive straight in, as always, to the next parak, the sixth parak over here, the parak of Ha'imer.
a parak, which as we'll see very shortly, is going to deal with the intricate dinim of shlichos, of a, of, excuse me, one second, one second, I apologize, of the intricate dinim of shlichos with regard to a get. And just as a way of Akdama to mention, there's two really forms of shlichos. You can have a shlich lahaylacha and a shlich lekabala. Shlich lahaylacha is usually going to be the husband gives over the get via a shliach, which means the shliach, the messenger, is acting on behalf of the husband to carry the get to his wife. And then you could have a shliach lekabala, which is the woman who makes a shliach to accept the get. So if you're thinking about it, we could have a gerushin process without even the husband and wife being there. The husband gives it to his shliach, the wife has her shliach pick up the paper, and everything is good and dandy. Which, parenthetically, we'll see in Mirza Shem, in when we learn Kedushin, that the same thing is really true about a marriage. You can even have a marriage without the husband and wife being there. We believe in shlichos. We believe shlichos shal adam kamaisai, and a shliach really can act on behalf of the one who sends him. So says the Mishnah, Ha'imer, if someone says, and we're referring to as we'll see, the husband, his kabbal gets hella ishti. The husband tells someone, accept this get for my wife. Or the husband says, take this get for my wife. If the husband wants to back out, he's allowed to back out. The wife is not considered uh, divorced until the paper actually reaches her hand. And this goes back to a reason that we said a few days ago that a get is a chav, perhaps actually it was even uh, a day ago, if it ain't a chav in the Adam el you can't cause a detriment to a person only in front of them. So in order for the shliach to accept the gerush on behalf of the woman, he has to go to the woman. And therefore says the Gemara, if the husband wants to back out the whole time, he is allowed to. And the Mishnah continues, let's say the woman it tells the shliach, you should be a shliach, a messenger, to accept the gift from me. Emrat salach, so lo then the woman cannot back out once the, the shliach accepts the paper. Why? Because the shliach, the moment he takes the paper, it's considered a gerushin. Therefore, it's too late to back out. Lefikach, therefore, says the Mishnah, four lines down. If the husband tells the shliach, who's acting as a shliach, shliach to accept the get for husband, for the woman, and the husband says to the sheikh, no, I don't want you to accept this get, I want you to take it and give it to my wife. Then, says the shivnigam liel, is totally giti, even if he says, take this get for my wife, you cannot back out. So, we have to deal with this end of the Mishnah, what exactly is going on over here? The woman is sending her shliach to pick up the get, and the husband saying, no, take this get to my wife. And what was the din? The din is that the husband could retract as long as the paper has not actually reached the woman. So, Amr le Ravacha, Braid Ravaviyo, Avya le Ravashi. Time of Loshaviti, he shliach le Kabal. Sounds like the reason of the Mishnah is because she did not appoint the uh, shliach to be a shliach to accept the get. Hashaviti, he shliach le Kabal. Then, Rotalazo le Yachser. Sound like if she actually appointed him to be a shliach to accept the get, then, then she cannot back out. So from here we see a raya. The raya is that if someone says hoylech, someone says take this, it means actually acquire it. it. Doesn't just mean take it. It means take it and acquire it. Let's just see Rashi for a moment before we go further. Rashi says, the first Rashi on the Gemara, about 10 lines into the narrow lines, We're going to the case in which a man says, Take this cat for my wife. That he could back out. The case is that she did not make him into a shliach to accept the get. And a husband is not able to make a shliach to accept the get. Because it's a negative for her. That's the case that he could back out. And the reason is because she did not make the shliach to Kabbalah. But if she did, then the husband would not be able to back out. Why? Because we assume that the husband telling the shliach, take this, it's as if he's telling the shliach to acquire it. 
Says the Gemara, no raya. And the raya, of course, Rashi points out, would be there's a big machlekes earlier on in Daf Yudalif. Answers the Gemara, loy lemeim lechol lech lav kizchitam. I can tell you that it's not called making an acquisition. If it's kavul gal leishti, it's richolei. And what the Mishnah is teaching us that that if the husband says it's kavul gal leishti, that is the chiddush. That what? Let's let the Gemara explain. Since the husband does not have a power to create a messenger to accept the get, then maybe even after the get actually reaches the woman's hand, it's nothing. Because the husband didn't have the power to create such a shlichus in the first time. So Kamash Malon says the Mishnah the Iskabel Vahil Kamar. The husband says you should accept this get. It doesn't just mean stop to accept it, it means accept it and bring this get to my wife. And that's the reason why if it eventually reaches her hands, at that point they will be divorced. So Tanan, we learned in a Mishnah, my love. Says the Gemara, the case of the Mishnah is Kablo It would seem that the Mishnah is dealing with a case that it's irrelevant whether the husband says the Kabel or whether he says Halcha to take it. Says the Gemara, no Raya, Loi, a Kabel. Let's go in the case of Kabel. Toshiba, we try again to bring your Raya. Lefikah, therefore, I'm Amr Loya, Bali, Yavshit to Kabel. If the husband says, I don't want you to accept this Kabel, Loi, Lech, Vatan, Lo, just take it to her. Emrat, Allah, Sir Yach, Sir, you can back out again. The obvious implication is time of Dhamma, Yavshit, because he said, and he articulated, I don't want you to accept the Gedam by half my wife. It would sound like he could not back out. Why not? By saying take it as if he actually did say acquire it. Again, answers Gmar no Raya. My, again, I, I, I apologize. One second, let's go back. I, I, I did not read this correctly. Again, one more time. We had a kasha, and the Gemara answered, Dilma Beheiloch, that's not going about the same case. So I'm about a case where the husband said, Heiloch, where the husband said to take the get for his, take the get for his wife. So says the Gemara, now we go into a new case. Pshita. Again, we're six lines into the white lines. First word line is dummy. Pshita. If there's a man shliach, he could be a shliach lo'alacha to bring the get, just like the husband could bring the get to his wife. Ve'isha, and if there's a woman, have a shliach alika bala, shkini shukol, skidim yad vayla, just like she accepts the get from her husband. What's the shayla? Ish, the kabala, ve'isha lo'alacha. My, what if each one is trying to fulfill the other roles? So tashma, imre eskabal get zeh. So my love, that's all referring to the same shlich. It would seem like it's all one big case. So he could do the kabbalah as he could do the halacha. I mean, the bringing answers. Gemara no raya loy b'shnei shluchan. Therefore, you can't bring a raya from that brace. Tashma, we try again. If the husband does not want you to accept it, rather take it and give it to her. And yet, we learn from here. But we still have a shy love. What's the status of a woman being a sheikh? So my. So Amr Amari Tashimaf and Hashim Shein Neman is like Mar Meis Baili. Woman does not have a credibility to say her husband died, but yet Neman is Lavi Eskita. So we see a woman can bring the get even a Sheikh Lai Lacha. Says the Gemara of Ahasam Lai Lachi, Vasam Lai Lachi. So Amr Avashi Misiva Nami Misham. So we write from the Sefer the Ketani Sefer. Hoisha Hasam Evi Eskita Vachi Yisri Chalim Vernach Tavadi Nechdam. We mentioned we've quoted already that watch a woman is allowed to bring the get as long as she says Vani Nechdam. So it's a clear raya, a woman is allowed to be a shliach lo'ilacha. We'll pick it up from here in the next year. B'siyata dishmaya.